Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and Pokemon fans of the world, Yudge Boy Corey here, aka Crasher, back with a new video, and ladies and gentlemen, we are about ready to hop on into Pokemon Journeys episode 101, and this episode is going to be featuring the Thwacky with one stick. Now, I'm really interested in this episode, because number one, I'd like to find out what happened to that Thwacky, and number two, I'd like to see if we're finally going to get some damn development for Goes Grookey. Here's hoping for the best, you know what I mean? Alright, here we go, guys. Let's freaking get into this. Whew, I'm excited. I am always excited for a Pokemon Journeys episode. Well, except for if there's going to be, like, those lame two-parters and stuff like that, like the half a Marsh Top and dubbing Pikachu episode. Never again, you know what I mean? And, oh, here we are. Nice. We're in the Galar region, the wild area. And Go wants to catch lots of Pokemon. But that's the plan, and... Oh! <laughs> what the hell? Oh, Grookey ruined that freaking uh, opportunity to uh, get Applin there. <laughs> Too eager to leap in, he says. Let's have dinner, go to bed early, and try again tomorrow. Dinner! What did I think of that? <laughs> we can use tasty smelling food to lure out Pokemon. Good idea, indeed. Alright. And... Oh, damn. That is a big, big pile of curry right there. They just ate all of it. But I thought that was for the Pokemon. <laughs> we ate it all. Yeah, no shit. Too little, too late. And, oh, that, I reckon, that shadow, I recognize that shadow. That right there is Thwacky. All right. We have ourselves a debut of Thwacky, people! I'm excited! Alright. I've never seen one before. That's your evolved form, Grookey. Yeah! And I'm kind of wondering if Grookey will ever see that uh, evolved form. And go just notice that that particular Thwacky has only one stick. And, <laughs> of course, he's gonna try to catch it, but... Oh -ho 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 -ho! Even with one stick, that freaking Thwacky just... Thwacky that ball right back in Go's face. <laughs> oh my god. The one stick Thwacky. Let's get into this, people. Let's do this. <laughs> yep. You're definitely uh, right about that, Ash. He definitely batted that ball right back in Go's face. So. Oh. Did that Thwacky get you, kids? Who is that? Oh, a wild area ingredients vendor. If you have any concerns about food, I'm your man. So we actually have ourselves uh, one of those NPCs from the actual Sword and Shield games making an appearance here in uh, in Pokemon Journeys. <laughs> Damn, that's a heavy bag. That guy's been spotted around here a lot lately. Oh, he steals food from campers every now and then. Okay, that's where I come in. All right. Well, you kids better take care too. <laughs> Got that glistening smile. Oh! Operation Catching with Curry? Vengeance! <laughs> Alright. So, they finally have a pot of curry to, uh, to use for the right reasons. <laughs> Although, I will say, I am hungry looking at that. And, okay, here we go. We got the Thwacky being, uh, lured out by the uh, curry here. And, using the stick to... Okay, little taste, and he seems to like it. Now's my chance, Monster Ball. Oh, <laughs> nope, denied again. Grookey just pretty much blew their cover, <laughs> or at least denied the chance of Go uh, trying to catch him. But oh, <laughs> oh my God! Yeah, what is that Grookey doing? <laughs> oh. No, don't cry! Oh no! Why is it crying? Is it embarrassed that it messed up? Like what? Oh! <laughs> oh my god! That Thwacky is actually quite nice to that Grookey. <laughs> then again, they are of the same uh, species. And it looks like uh, Grookey's being groomed by the Thwacky. A mark of friendship and trust. Aww. <laughs> that 
That's actually so cute! Oh my god. That's so cute. Oh, wait a second. Is he trying to take Grookey's stick? That's Grookey's stick, man. Come on. <laughs> All right. Well, so far this is a pretty cute episode. Oh, we're going uh, thwacky back riding. Well, Grookey is anyways. <laughs> kind of a cute episode so far. I'm not going to lie. But now we have ourselves uh, Ash, Go, and Pikachu running after them. We're trying to find them here. Oh, that didn't take long. I wonder what they're doing. And, okay. We got some nuts being uh, tapped by sticks. I think Thwacky's trying to show Grookey how to uh, split open those uh, nuts with the stick. So Thwacky's like literally trying to... Uh, to mentor Grookey. Oh, no. Well, you're not going to get it right the first try. Nice. Yeah, you got you to, gotta, like, hit it with some force. You know what I mean? <laughs> that is adorable. That Thwacky is just straight up being, like, a, a, a bigger bro to, uh, to Ghost Grookey. i never seen Grookey listen so intently before. They get along so well together. He might be a good role model for Grookey to learn from. Okay. Oh! Why don't you come with us? Instead of being alone out here, you can be with Grookey, me, and all of our friends. I don't think that's a good idea to just run at him. Uh-oh. What was, uh... What was that noise? That sounded like uh, some type of wild call. Maybe a bunch of other thwacky... Uh-oh. Yup. Yup. They just landed themselves in a big pile of caca right there. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, a lot of thwacky. And they do look angry. Is this their territory? Oh. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Oh. Okay. Oh! There's the missus. And a grookey. So, wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. No, wait, no! That, that is a different Grookey, just like I had suspected. <gasps> Rillaboom! Oh my god! Is Rillaboom, like, the, uh, the, the, the leader here? Oh my god. <laughs> the ones, the one with the best drumming skills is the, uh, is the leader of the group. <laughs> Wow. Okay. So. Oh. And now it looks like the uh, group of Thwacky want to uh, start drumming it up with their sticks. <laughs> As if they're like doing band practice or something. Does that ever bring me back to the uh, Air Cadet days back when I used to be a drummer uh, in, the, uh, in the marching band? But unfortunately, the Grookey with one stick can't really do much drumming. Like, you need to have two sticks in order to really drum, you know? <laughs> Seems like Grookey and Pikachu are uh, down down with what's going on right now. Except for, uh, oh! I was going to say, were those other uh, Thwacky going to try and, uh, you know, like, help them out? But, all right. So the other Thwacky are kind of realizing that the uh, the one stick Thwacky's trying to jump in, and seems like he's out of rhythm, which is kind of ruining it for uh, everyone else. Oh, he just threw the stick down. Perhaps really frustrated. I would imagine he can't keep up with everyone else with only one stick. You, you see? Wow. So now we got the misses. Oh! And Baby Grookey's, like, looking on. That Baby Grookey, man, I'm telling you, it's so freaking adorable, the way it's latched on to uh, that Thwacky's back. <laughs> but, unfortunately, the uh, one-stick Thwacky ran off. That poor guy indeed, go. 
Wow. <laughs> I have to say, this, um... <clears throat> this is, uh... Quite a decent episode here. You know, especially if you're a fan of, uh... The Grookey lineup like I am, you know? I'm a real boom guy all the way. Grass-type King Kong. <laughs> for the win. And... Okay. So... Thwacky's trying out another stick <coughs> to help replace the uh, one that is missing, and yeah. Wow. If we could find a stick that fits, even if it fits, they want a certain feel, yeah. They're very picky about, uh, about their sticks, just like what we had learned in the preview. And we got Goes uh, Grookey now. Approaching the uh, one stick to wacky once again. And. Oh! Grookey. Grookey's giving up his own stick? For that. For that wacky. He'd go that far for him? Oh my god. Oh! Wait, he just rejected him. Why? Maybe he realizes that that stick is a part of uh, Grookey's being. And he doesn't want to ruin that for him. That would be my guess. And now we got ourselves uh, some uh, drum tap. Oh no, and some tear. Oh no, and some tears as well. Oh my god. Oh my god. Grookey. Oh no, Grookey's crying. Oh my god. Grookey's really trying to, like, motivate uh, Thwacky, but... Okay. He can drum twice as fast instead. That's the idea? Then again, Grookey was doing it, like, very, very fast. Like, ta 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 you know? Like, instead of taking, like, big you know, long swings, it's like short little taps, you know? Kind of like playing a snare drum, you know? Wow. A stick-on-stick stick kind of high five right there. Let's get Train in there, Thwacky. Nice. Okay. And now we got some agility training from Pikachu. Catch Pikachu with a whoosh and a whoosh. <laughs> okay. And, oh! Oh! We even have ourselves, uh, come on, coming into the fray here. Oh! Come on, keep F, Wacky. Put your whole body into it. And one more time, Surfetch. So Surfetch is even getting <laughs> getting in on the training as well. Meanwhile, Go and uh, Grookey are, I guess, uh, going to look out to get some food. And... We have ourselves, uh, the, the Miss Thwack, uh, Thwacky and the, uh, the Baby Grookey. Nana Berries. So Nana Berries, okay. Well, they are in the shape of bananas, and monkeys do love bananas. So, alright. <laughs> oh my god, that's so cute. Two little Grookies playing with each other? <laughs> you already made a new friend. I'd say you made several, you know? That is... That's incredible. We're getting ourselves little flashbacks to uh, what took place in, uh, like, early on in this episode. Like, with, uh, with Grookey and Thwacky there. They would usually live in troops, after all. Of course they form strong bonds. Hmm. Huh? You're giving them to us? Aw! Arigato indeed! <laughs> wow. Okay. You're worried about him. So, Ghost's, uh... Ghost's communicating right now with, uh... With the uh, Thwacky and the Grookey and, uh... Kind of reassuring them. Oh! <laughs> Wow, so now now they're uh, having a little uh, Nanabberry feast. <laughs> That's, uh, nice. All right, that's the spirit. All right. 
And now we have ourselves Sir Fetched and Thwacky. Oh, Thwacky's holding off that big spear with that one stick. <laughs> He's even taunting him. Doing a little booty shake. And avoiding the lance and tapping it at the same time. Like, <laughs> sword, that, it, it's like sword dance, or not sword dance, sword fighting, but with a bit of a different flair to it. And now we got Pikachu with the Iron Tail here. And that Thwacky just blocked it right off. Nice. And done the same thing for, uh, for Surf Fetch. And now, oh, now we got Bullet Seed from the, uh, from the Green End there that just got thwarted. And <laughs> caught Pikachu and once again, thwarting good old Surf Fetch. And now it's a two-on-one attack. Oh, oh. Damn, he managed to fight off both Pikachu and the Surfetch with one stick! <laughs> nice! Okay, okay! I'm, I'm liking this! I'm actually really liking this! Even though a lot of the focus on the episode seems to be about that Thwacky, we are getting some involvement from Brookie, thank God, you know? And... While Ash and Go are sleeping, we have ourselves, uh, Thwacky, you know, practicing, uh, drumming with one stick. And, <laughs> got a, got a nice little, uh, training montage going on. <laughs> okay! Okay! <clears throat> nice! And, what do we got here? Oh? Alright. And, what's going on? <laughs> they got woken right up. And Grookey knows what's up. Yeah, there you go. Swinging twice as fast now with that stick. That's actually going to help him out in the long run. Because, like, his his um, hand-to-hand -hand combat's going to be, like, a lot, uh, a lot better. You know, like, rather than depending on two sticks and depending on one, he's forcing himself to, like, be twice as good to make up for... The, uh, the loss of the stick. And there's that call again. They're calling for, uh, for Thwacky. Alright, okay. Wow. So, let's see this. We have a bunch of uh, the Thwacky with their two sticks, you know, just uh, doing their thing. <laughs> and there's Big Boss Rillaboom kind of meditating a little bit, you know? And there we go. We got the one stick thwacky. Alright, let's see it. Let's see it. Now they're about to start. Give it all you got. Let's go. Let's go. I'm excited. Alright. There we go. Getting that rhythm going. And, alright, okay, okay. Alright. Okay. There we go. Getting a nice little groove on here. There you go. There you go. Thwacky with one stick, man. Is really, really doing it. Perfect sync and everything, and Rillaboom is <laughs> is down with this as well. Nice. Oh, there he is. There it is. I should say the big drum. Nice. Hey, even the even the one sick wacky's uh, beating on uh, Rillaboom's drum. And oh, that's what those sparkles are, allowing for vegetation to grow. That's the power Grookey has, the power to breathe life into the forest. Yeah. Nice. You were trying to catch Thwacky, but I guess you don't feel like that anymore, huh? Oh, Grookey looks... Yeah, I'd say Grookey definitely does look happy. <laughs> wow. I'm definitely happy for that one stick thwacky, man. Like, that is... <laughs> that is incredible. <laughs> Grookey is just very impressed. And... What's up with Go? 
Is he like that look that Go gave plus some music? Go on, I want no, 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 no. If you want to stay here, then oh, <laughs> what are you doing? Isn't that grooming? <laughs> grooming? Yeah, just like from earlier in the episode. Then we got another flashback. <laughs> I'll keep trying to be a great partner for you. It seems like just as Go is about to try and release Grookey, Grookey just straight up denied that. Straight up denied. He's like, nope, I'm sticking with you. I'm going to latch all over your face and groom you. <laughs> okay. All right. Wow. All right. That was, um, that was a decent episode. A very decent episode. We got to see some Grookey spotlight, finally, but it seemed like that a lot of the development, for the most part, revolved around that one-stick thwacky, which I have to say, that one-stick thwacky definitely impressed me. I gotta say, I'm a huge fan now. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, you know what time it is. It's evaluation time! Let's get into my thoughts post-reaction about Pokemon Journeys episode 101. Now, I'm really curious as to how the Thwacky ended up losing its other stick. We didn't exactly get that answer in this episode, which is unfortunate, because going into this episode, I was really hoping that we could have that sort of conclusion brought upon us, but alas, it didn't happen, so it's kind of open-ended for us. Now, I have to say, I really enjoyed those bonding moments that Goes Grookey and that one stick Thwacky shared with each other, and it's as if they weren't even strangers to each other, despite having never met before, they were acting as if if they were a part of the troop, a part of the family, and it was just absolutely precious. And Go's Grookey ended up motivating that one stick Thwacky into drumming with one stick, but modifying the drumming technique because rather than drumming with two sticks at the usual pace that an average Thwacky would, this one stick Thwacky had to kind of go twice as fast to keep up with the rhythm, and it turned out to be very, very well. And I absolutely loved how that one stick Thwacky absolutely owned Ash's Pokemon, being Pikachu as well as Surfetched, and even managed to fight off Go's Greedent as well. So there was definitely some good strength training as well in this episode, which I really enjoyed. Now, obviously, all that training was to improve the drumming abilities of Thwacky, but I have to say that that Thwacky was really strong, you know? It would definitely make for quite the fearsome battler, wouldn't you all agree? And something that I absolutely enjoyed out of this episode is that despite the fact that Thwacky had only one stick, he was not treated like an outcast, like a blemish in the troop. They were actually in support of Thwacky having only one stick and being able to keep up in sync with them. And that right there just kind of goes to show that wildlife isn't always cruel. That you don't get ousted from your group just because of an ailment or because of a difference about you. Now, as far as my criticisms go of this episode, there's two very big ones that I have, but not to the point where this episode goes completely in the garbage because I absolutely did enjoy this episode, but the parts that I have some pretty major gripes on would be the fact that we did not get any closure as to what happened to that Thwacky to where it only had one stick. Did it get into a fight? Did it lose its stick? Did it get stolen? What on earth happened? And the other gripe that I have is that although we did get to see some development from Go's Grookey, I feel that it wasn't exactly significant enough to make up for all of the episodes past where Go's Grookey was pretty much just treated as yesterday's news and hardly got any acknowledgement in past episodes. It was good that we got to see some focus of Go's Grookey here in this episode, but I feel like that it was very much long overdue and 
there should have been a new move learned from Go's Grookey here in this episode to at least kind of make up for all of the missed opportunities in past episodes. But that's just my own opinion. What did you guys think about this episode out of 10? Leave your comments and your feedback down below, ladies and gentlemen. As for my rating of this episode, I'm going to give it a 6.5 out of 10. It was a decent episode. It wasn't great, but it wasn't bad either. Definitely the highlights of this episode would be the involvement of Go's Grookey, as well as that one stick thwacky overcoming adversity and actually showcasing that it is quite capable of battling and being a good one stick drummer. And that's it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. So I want to say thank you guys very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, consider liking and subscribing and especially comment your thoughts down below because I love to hear you guys out always have that will never ever change so thank you guys again for watching have yourself a fantastic dare night depending on your time zone and i'll see you guys in the next one